YouTube family. There's a lot going on with this BMF situation. As you know, Blue Da Vinci been voicing his opinion about how he feels during 50 Cent's BMF premiere showing. He didn't like the gathering that he got. And since he voiced his opinion, a whole lot of, lot of been transpiring out here. Now, we're going to use some receipts from like Doc Hicks TV, salute the, the, the Detroit native, the journalist from Detroit. Now, the BMF history goes long and running. But guys like Blue Da Vinci have been talking a whole lot since he's been home. And now a lot of people want him to sit down. And it looked like they're going to get that wish of making him sit down. Before we get started with it, I need y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Let's shake and rock with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Now on Vlad TV interview over here. You feel me? Dexter Sosa Hosi said he feels Blue Da Vinci is a rat. Now he gives his reasons right here on Vlad TV interview. Subscribe to Vlad TV. They wanted to, to, to go off into other ventures because they weren't built for the shit that we were doing. Well, did Blue Da Vinci cooperate or no? Yeah, he cooperated. I mean, I didn't see it. It was in uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss Mara Shalute's book where his own lawyer said, yeah, if there was anything else that we could do, Your Honor, to, to help you along with this case. Um, my, 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 my client would be more than willing to cooperate with you all to help you in this investigation. But now the thing of it is, is by you admitting what, you, what, what was done, you know what I'm saying, you, you, what you done or whatever, whatever, but bottom line is, you know, you didn't take the, the single plea. You, you went in and was giving them information on shit that they already had and thought it was cool, but you, you still, you, you know, that was part of that. You just confer, confirmed other shit that the other CIs just done told. Plus you did a, 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 a smack video prior to that that was giving them the whole fucking play. They never knew nothing about it. That smack video was detrimental in finding out who each person was. The thing of it is, bro, is how is it that I was never around and I got time and you motherfuckers didn't get time. It's guys that's oh, that was around dude every day that didn't get time. Now, you see Dexter was very, very serious how he went about admitting he, he think Blue Da Vinci, not think, he knows Blue Da Vinci talk, but you had Blue Da Vinci responding to the situation. So let's hear what Blue Da Vinci had to say as far as, because he, he's going to throw a shot at Little Meech, if you guys don't know. You know, Little Meat said something. He's going to be like, folks and them kids is responding. You better go get your kid. Because Big Meat responded, 50 Cent responded. We'll get to all that. But let's listen to his response towards what everybody's been saying about him. With the TV show and other people until it's over with. So here's the quick clip. Of and that'll probably be a clip of Blue Divin gonna be. They ain't finna be able to use my name in that mother. They gonna have to use somebody else's name and they gonna have to guess. Uh, it's gonna be the person that's making everything happen. That'll probably be me And that's when it gets to the BMF part everything else. It's really big Meech's life story So they're gonna see big Meech as a young dude or whatever. It should be a great program They doing a BMF TV show so what I'm dealing with more money than they finna use to create the whole mother TV show Who gives a and 50 cent run it? I don't give 50 cent ain't got to do with BMF that ain't mother so one dime rock in the park. Only thing I'm saying is if they handle my name wrong, everybody already know I'm coming to see you. So now play with it if y'all want. Uh, the, the writers, the producers, the directors, the executive producer, everybody. Y'all play with my name, I'm telling y'all right now. Y'all play with my name, it's up. I'm gonna try to find a way to up everything about it if play with my name. Now, as soon as I get the first report, hey bro, they over here playing with your name, I'm coming. Just already know how your security beefed up all the police, how you run around with and all that I have all that I'm gonna give it to they too I ain't finna play with my name I'm gonna go all the way out by my name my kids not finna go through life with people playing on my name so exactly like I said I really feel like that was directed to 50 cent now 50 cent kind of now what he said towards 50 cents you know it can't be refuted but it's understood now big Meech responded to a situation like this. You feel me? Big Meech voiced his opinion. Um, we're gonna read what Big Meech had to say. Uh, it looked like he was more than ready to respond to this. It looked like he was more than ready to 
to acquiesce to, all right, this man been saying my name too much. We're going to, you know, we're going to have a breakdown of what I meant, what I had to say. And this is it right here. Let me go to the screen. Shout out to those gentlemen, um, Hip Hop Uncensored uh, News. Okay, Big Meat says, stay in touch so we can talk about the third and the fourth episode and whatever you out these, I mean, out there doing all positive vibes. I really love 50 for helping us make all this happen for us. It's like he's the only one to sincerely come through and put us on the 100% legitimate successful path. And he never owed us ish, but gave us everything when almost all the sports and entertainers I've known for most of my life never spoke up or helped us get on path to legitimacy. What 50 has done for us to me is priceless and there's nothing meaning, yo, and I wouldn't do for um, fifth, um, if I needed to. I love you, son, with all my heart for life and death, your dad, and the real big meat. Jesus, like, you can tell the love that they got for fifth. It goes deeper than what a Blue Da Vinci is seeing out here. And y'all gotta remember, the Blue Da Vinci story is kind of like spooky because he's been talking a whole lot himself and Doc Hicks break him down you feel me as being an informant. Now we're gonna go to the Doc Hicks interview where he broke it down and got this guy to be a legend informant. Let's listen on. All right. So take you some. Go, 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 go. Come on. Start the car. We're leaving. Party. Be straight, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that, that's nothing, my nigga. You my nigga. Come on, man. Quit playing. Call down to the so y'all can keep in touch. Yeah, I, I, I tell him his mama's phone ain't, ain't is restricted, man. I can't do nothing but write down right now. They phone restricted because his mama's phone was changed. And I, you know, you gotta tell him what he got, what to do, what they gotta do for the, for me to talk to them on the phone from time to time at his mama house. You know what I'm saying? And if the phone was staticky in that particular situation, is there any way that you can kind of, uh, I don't know if the correct terms would be elaborate or kind of let people know what was going on around that situation? You know, why? Would, some of the people that was holding on to his money was 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 playing him false. wasn't wasn't trying to get his money to him, you know, and acting like they didn't, you know, they didn't have it and they did something else with it, you know. So I had to. He he wanted me to do something different. Arresting him down in his house at Brandywine, Texas, which I was on his way to. So I was on my way to to take, you know, to get this money down there. Now, uh, after that. After that particular situation where, you know, you say he was told to turn around and get the money to attorneys and all that particular situation. I don't know if in, in, in brief, if you wanted to speak about it or not, but how, how did Blue Da Vinci end up playing a part in that whole situation as far as after the phone calls and with the money that was supposed to be turned into an attorney? Well, what had happened was... Uh... After the attorney got paid, I took my, I took, I took some, I took, I took three hundred thousand out of there. After the attorneys got paid, after his attorney got paid, they blew in and, and a few other guys, you know, I'm saying Tito, and then blew on the, He was supposed to take the money and do something else with it, you know. He was supposed to go and down to his families, and you know what I'm saying, and and it was supposed to just be sitting around. That was what that some of that money was. But before they took the money down there. Before Blue and them took the money down there, what had happened was they tried to make a move with the money and got caught. And 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 I'm assuming you're saying because the rest of it, as far as like besides this particular cover page that's going to be on the screen, the rest of the paperwork that's directly related to Blue Da Vinci's case and everybody, because a lot of people I know have been asking about that particular question. If they were bait, we were using them. Talking about, and one of you niggas. How about that? Nigga, what? Two, three years, two years, 
I give these niggas time. I give a nigga two, three years to show what they're going to do. I sit back dormant. I don't say nothing. I don't say much. I don't go outside much. I play and plot strategize like Tupac. They called me Blue Pop when I did that. He did. Listen, but now it's time to come back outside and tour buses and all the shit. Because huh? this is where that money at, for real. I, 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 ain't, I just ain't saying nothing. I mean, I gave everybody a chance to show me what they got, show me what they're going to do, BMF niggas and all. I don't give a fuck if you think you're from BMF or not, nigga. If you ain't getting to it, fuck what you talking about. And what are you niggas? How about that? Now, let's see how many check how many niggas gonna check in and tap in. Talking about this BML. Huh? Where the money at? Where, where the fucking money at? Can I put a picture up here? I know they got this shit raw. I should be able to put Oh my god, you motherfuckers. I'm finna. Alright, y'all wanna play with me, huh? Oh, these motherfuckers wanna play. I got something for y'all ass. I got something for y'all ass this morning. How about this one? Hello, 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 motherfuckers. Hello, do y'all even know what the fuck is going on? Do niggas know what the fuck is going on? Do y'all, do y'all even understand what y'all looking at right now? That shit uncut, nigga. Huh? What that is, an F1? I don't know, let them cut that shit and see that. See the purity in that motherfucker. What that is, 20 carats, 30 carats? 20 carats, I don't know. Stop playing, nigga. We gonna take this shit back to the blue da Vinci that blew that BMS shit up. I'm the nigga that loud talk that shit for you motherfuckers that like it. What the fuck going on? Niggas finna stop playing with my name. I gave y'all long enough to play with that. Then nigga ain't really do nothing. Man, stop playing, man. That all that cap ass shit. Niggas running around and niggas kids and shit running around playing with a nigga. Boy, stop playing, I'm back outside. And I ain't playing, I'm coming outside with the black. I'ma fly over you niggas and jets. And then I'ma hit the streets and come to you niggas level in buses and in foreign cars. But we still gonna come in peace, bro. We gonna come in peace. We just gonna show niggas how to get money. But all that high capping and all that flexing, all that putting your money on your arm and shit. Nigga, my money don't fit on my motherfucking arm, pussy. The fuck going on? I don't got to have my money on my arm in a strip club with Drake. We throw some bread around. Now, you've seen a lot of things Blue was saying, but he also had things where he was talking about there was rats in the BMF crew. And this is the video that made people think he was talking about his own self. But let's listen. Stayed, you know, faithful to everyone else and then and didn't cooperate. To be honest with you, bro, um, the indictment was broken down, I believe, into three parts. There was like an Atlanta a Detroit and a Los Angeles, three different indictments. And I was a part of the Atlanta indictment. So all my paperwork had to deal with people that were involved with the Atlanta indictment. So I don't have paperwork on, on the rest of the people like Meech's brothers, people, and you know, all those guys. I don't really know. I saw, I've, I've seen things here and there, but I don't have like the case, like how I've got our case from Atlanta. I've got every word that was said by everybody or that wasn't said by everybody um so but if i had to just put it in perspective yeah. I, I would say like you know a good 70 percent kept it solid which is a nice percentage you know what i'm saying yeah snitches real real life snitches you know involved in that situation that you know it was it was it was a few snitches real real life snitches you know involved in that situation you know have you ever run into any of these guys no nah, i ain't seen nobody i ain't seen nobody that told on me you know what i'm saying um I, I, you know i did see omari in prison when he was supposed to be coming and testifying on meach but he never did it um stuff was even done and i guess they pulled the kid back from state prison you know, because he was going to give some information that was going to get his time cut. But I don't know if it was six, the good time. I subtract from five years, four months since, like right at four years of actual prison time. And then your, your offense level runs down this graph. And then you've got to find yourself on this. Whether he told or not, Blue Da Vinci is definitely speaking his piece on the situation he is mad not an attorney who said he cooperated lou was sentenced to five years you know um because he was willing to cooperate he was 
So they got a short sentence because they said he's willing to cooperate. All this is allegedly y'all decide in the comment section and let me know how y'all feeling. Do you think Blue Da Vinci told? Do you think he talked? Y'all tell me what the situation is. And I'm not done yet. I want y'all to listen to WAC 100, give his piece on the whole situation. Question right after the whole YG situation. And they went to jail and somebody talking just because I'm out here running around the streets getting on planes and shit and telling them people say it's over with, it ain't over with. Right. Because it's my car. Yeah, that's a fact. You feel what I'm saying? My homies is drunk. It ain't like uh, Jeffrey Willard came and rented my shit and this happened. Right? No. Let me, you know, grapes are set. Let me just, all you niggas is apples. And it was an apple's car. And the apple driver was an apple. And the niggas that we say had the guns was apples. But just because you were somewhere else, nah. How the fuck they get the apple car? They drive it. They had the key to them. Like all this shit, the clubs, and you looking at who around him. Niggas don't know who I, hey, bro, I fuck with some people right now that will blow your fucking mind if I showed y'all shit. Y'all be like, hold on, Wag, what the fuck am I looking Blue got picked up in 2006, right? They was already in there a year. Blue probably figured this shit was over with. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying he but told. But a year later, one of the dudes that was down with told them, on what? he said what he told. Tell on? I don't know. One of the look, dudes. Look, 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 hey, look, hey, let's do the math, right? Let's do the math, right? If a nigga told, right? Everybody get picked up in 2005, right? Let's just do the math for real. Everybody get picked up in 2005. They already in there, right? Because they saying a nigga told. Okay. Everybody get convicted. It ain't that whatever information they got didn't work because everybody got a gang of time, right? Mm -hmm. So you telling me a year later you come get, pick the nigga up that told the niggas tell? Why do niggas tell to stay out of jail, right? No, I, no, I don't know, but I'm just so. No, I'm just doing the math. I'm like, we doing logic right now. Okay, okay, I'm okay. I'm giving you logic. So now, in 2006, you telling me the feds come pick the dude up that told to help them convict everybody? Nah, I don't work like that. Fuck no. I'm wait. No. We just using logic. He sometimes. No, no, I know what you're saying. Right. So now, let's ask. Well, what did he tell on? On what they got convicted of, then they wouldn't have came and got him to go do eight years, right? I remember being young and being inspired by technologies, and I was often. Shout out to WAC 100 for that perspective. Yeah. Now, guess what? Now, now, wait. Logic says what? The reason why they came to get Blue Da Vinci one year later, because one of them niggas that got picked up in 2005, what did they do? They told. Uh oh. They did the now CEO Chris move. Hey, hey, what? Right. Now, common sense Christmas is kicking right? in. Now, you, you see how the narrative just changed? If you just take the time to think about shit, if he would have been the one to tell to get everybody arrested in 05, right? Nobody that got arrested in 05 could tell on him to get arrested in 06 because the feds is going to say, well, that's all informing. You can't tell on all informing. We know what the nigga did. That's what we use what he did to squeeze him to make him tell, right? No. They yeah, came yeah. and picked Blue up a year later. After one of them niggas that got picked up in 05, and I know the nigga name, because I seen when I left 6ix9ine from the Bahamas, Blue Da Vinci picked me up from the private airstrip. He seen 6ix9ine right there getting his Rolls Royce and pull off, and I got in the car with Blue Da Vinci two weeks ago. It's real talk, right? Man, we hearing a lot of situation, a lot is being done. I don't even want to hear it from Big Meech again. You know what I'm saying? One point eight million dollars in some weed in the house. He shouldn't have never been at that house. He didn't have to go check on that. But he did, and that cost him forty years to flee for that. But yeah, man, you know you, you that's that's how it could man. Look look at our look at our age, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm forty three years old, I feel good. You know, I still feel young at heart and everything. And, and like I said, prison has allowed me to get my body more together, be more concerned about my, about my health. You know what I'm saying? You need a good heart to keep, to keep living, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, uh, you know, keep your appearance up, you know. But, but um, 
dudes younger than us, man, I mean, they just didn't grow up in our era, so they can't grow They growing up in the snitching era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, grew, they growing up. We grew, we grew up in the hold your tongue, don't say nothing, you know. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, we hate all rats, kill all rats era. They didn't, they didn't grow Although we had them, it just wasn't like now. Now the rats, they leave. They got, they got killers too. The rats killing and everything. They got killers. They're not worried about it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like when, when Alpo came home one day, they, um, they threw him a party in DC. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Fucking believable. In all places of DC, I'm really surprised. Yeah, that's what they say. I mean, you know, I, I wasn't there, but I think with the, the club Dream, they used to be Dreams. I think it's changed to Live or something. I'm not sure. Love. But yeah, Love, whatever. I, I mean, I heard, that's what I heard, you know. You know, I'm like, man, that's crazy. But you know, y'all want to kill Rayford and y'all want to kill Nikki Barnes and, you know, and all this shit, but see, it is. The gang of rats and came home that you, you ain't done nothing to, you know. So I mean, I evaluate this. You hear the principles of Big Meech and what he stands on and believe in. Look, y'all, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live.